new channel, Land Gaming. Subscribe now. Link in the description below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> this is getting a workout for both of us. Yep, this is working. I feel the fat melting off like butter. What's going on guys? I am Matthias and today I'm looking at 10 strange things that Tanner from Wrecked picked out on Amazon. I'm gonna be letting you guys know whether it's a cash it or a trash it. If you guys want any of these products, links down in the description below. It helps out the channel if you're interested in product, pro <laughs> links down in the description below. You know the drill if you haven't drilled the drill before. Click that bell icon to get notified of our uploads because you want to click it on desktop or on mobile so you get pinged right away when we upload a video because I comment back within the first 30 minutes. Despite what all the top comments say, I do comment back. You haters? Neck pillow. Realistic simulation. Large. Oh, realistic simulation? Oh. So does of that. A neck pillow? Yeah, of an either. Is it simulating a neck pillow or is it simulating a shrimp? Because. If it's simulating a shrimp, not gonna even click buy because that would be the creepiest thing in the world. Can you imagine if you had giant shrimp this big? Dude, what if you have a large shrimp? That's what I just, just said. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so uncomfortable. It'd be all hard and crusty and it'd smell like fish. Oh my gosh. Look at her. <laughs> She's in love with the shrimp. Honestly, it doesn't really look like a shrimp that much. It just looks like a poop. She's wearing it like it's an accessory. Guys, say that five times fast. Like an accessory, like an accessory, like an accessory, like an accessory, like an accessory. Whoo, I did it. What were we doing? <laughs> Add the cart. <laughs> oh, oh, it's so creepy. I almost Smell it? No, I almost threw up. <laughs> straight, straight up, I almost just threw up. I hate you. I don't know why. Oh, that sounded funny. Oh, that feels so weird. Feel it. Nice! <laughs> oh. oh, it's nice. Whose neck is this supposed to fit? Oh, that's. Oh, it smells bad. It smells real bad. You know what I look like? A Twi'lek. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, anyone that knows what a Twi'lek is, click like right now. Because you cool. <laughs> no, straight up, it's choking me. Like, why not just use a regular pillow? Oh, I'm shook. It looks like a poop. Yeah, it looks like orange poop. Orange poop, like someone had way too many carrots, you know, or some high C. I'm gonna have to say, I trashed this one. Garbage. You don't want this around your neck for the rest of the video? I'll get booed in the office, let alone in real life, so I, I can't handle that kind of hate. Kobe. I missed. <laughs> <laughs> if you want that, guys, link in the description. Next product. Drop mic, metal prop microphone in cloth lined wooden box. The idea is that you literally just drop the mic. I feel like I have so many opportunities to do that as a boss. You could literally, you're the only one in the office with the opportunity to do that. <laughs> I'm the only one that can just walk into a room and be like, this is what I stayed and this is how it goes. Drop the mic and then walk out and then everyone's just like, I hate that guy. <laughs> I see an on off switch. Does it make a noise when you drop it? It sure does make a heavy thud. It will not, however, produce an electronic sound like feedback through an amplification system. First drop and it broke. Yes, it is a prop. I thought it was meant to be dropped, but it doesn't really say that. Executive drop mic. Oh, it's for executives, dude. Ooh, so, it actually looks pretty. If you guys aren't aware, I am technically the CEO of Hi5 Studios, which is chief executive officer. So I'm able to actually use this. I'm, I'm warranted of this. I think they are trying to say, oh, you could drop it, but drop it into the plush soft areas. Add to cart. Good presentation though. No joke. Kobe. Uh, more styrofoam. Uh, more paper. Uh, more plastic. Oh, it's not even heavy. Really? It's like less heavy than an actual mic. We are not responsible for any damages or injuries caused by this product. This is not a working microphone, only a prop. We recommend dropping it back into the padded box or on a soft surface, which oh. is the opposite of what a mic drop is. A mic drop is like, Hey, listen, Tanner, you do your job, okay? It's not the same effect. Now I'm gonna do my job less. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> but if I'm like, you even squinted, dude. You were like, yeah. 
It's a beautiful microphone. Oh, it actually even has the XLR input on there. <laughs> yeah, maybe it does work, actually. I'm gonna let you have the honors. Go. I need a beat or something. Dave, No, we're not rapping, we're just dissing. We just have to rap. Insult, drop the mic. Yo. Yo. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna directly insult my boss in front of millions do of people. Do it! Do it now! Do it now or you'll get in trouble. <laughs> Your ears aren't that big. That's not... <laughs> I thought Tanner was nude when he walked in today because of his shirt color. Thank you. <laughs> You're not as ugly as they all say. <laughs> Is that your legs or are you walking around on an ostrich? <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to say this is a cash it. I'm going to put this on my desk, yo, in my actual executive office. Yo, that's right. Links down in the description if you want it. Travette DJ Funfetti shot professional confetti launcher. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All I can say is that I'm happy that I don't have to do the cleanup on this set. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <gasps> confetti launcher? Oh, my gosh, dude. Look at this. Oh, it just continues to just keep blowing them. Oh my word. For concerts, parties, or special events. I feel like today's a special event. I you know, we got Tanner in on the Matthias video. Let's shoot some confetti. Let's shoot some, some confetti, dude. Oh my gosh, that is dope. Okay, so here's the deal, guys. It is $300. You know what that means, guys? is that I can't buy that right now until I know that you guys actually want to see this product. If you actually want to see this product, give this video a like. If we hit 250,000 likes, we will buy this and have a fun Fetty time. No joke, we'll put confetti in this entire office. But until then, this one's on layaway because I got to know if you guys actually want to see this, this video here. Toast inflatable in tin. I just wonder who these products are like, who who is their market? Who who is buying this? But why is it inflatable in the tin? That's what we have to ask ourselves. The description here, toast inflatable in tin. It's like they're almost so confident that people are gonna buy this. Oh, it's toast inflatable in a tin. No more explanation needed. <laughs> You're gonna buy it. <laughs> toast. <laughs> I use this toast in case of an emergency at the local greasy diner for when nosy waitresses who walk by and ask, do you, need, do you want more toast? I just inflate this toast when needed. Bought this as a gag gift. What else could you buy this as? How is it even a gag? Ah, add to cart. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Emergency inflatable toast inflates in one breath. What does it mean by emergency? Well, I, what that person said in in when you're ha when you have an emergency, you can inflate the toast so that people think you have real toast. Like I, I don't understand it. I really, really don't. Look, here's the inflatable toast. It's a decent sized piece of toast. For all of you who don't know, this is going to exhaust the matter. Right Anytime you have to blow air out. I mean, it's not. It's definitely not a piece of toast. Maybe it's like someone like really made a piece of French toast wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like way too many eggs in the, <laughs> yeah. in the French toast recipe. <laughs> this can't even help you float if you're drowning. So it can't be used in that kind of an emergency. I don't know what the emergency is. People are laughing at you like, ha, look at that toastless person. And then you can just, you know? <laughs> he didn't have enough self-control to carry around his toast, he ate it. <laughs> I mean, you, you know where I hit myself in the face. Nice. Now it's doubly uh, trash. Someone say you got toasted. <laughs> <laughs> Snore stopper remedy. Boxing glove funny gag gift. Snore stopper. Boxing glove on a wooden handle. Is that if you snore, you literally just punch him in the face? Exactly. Precisely. Why can't you just punch him in the face? Why do you need this thing? It gives you the thumbs up too, look. <laughs> Maybe it's because you're like you don't know if that person's sleeping commando, so you're like I, I, I wouldn't get the I wouldn't get close to them with a stick, you know. But it's a stick. <laughs> with a stick with a boxing glove. That's, That's different. the right distance. Not worth twenty dollars. <laughs> when I first purchased this, I was looking for one of those boxing gloves that automatically shoots out. It's so obvious that it's not that. It's on a wooden <laughs> stick. My fault. I wasn't paying attention and bought it before really reading and checking out the pictures close up. Close up? I didn't even click and I know it's not that. Beware, it doesn't fit. I tried to get this up his nostrils as the picture clearly instructs and it doesn't fit. Now I don't know how this works. Add to cart. 
see this. Oh my gosh, that woman. She's evil about it. That is the most evil smile I've ever seen on a human being. <laughs> I think so, dude. It looks like a- uh, Coupled woman. with the nose ring? <laughs> yeah. It's just like, this chick's like, you don't even know what she's about, dude. <laughs> Let's see the instructions. The snore stopper is the newest achievement in sleep research, as well as relationship saver in one neat device. One brief yet resolute punch, you again reign over nighttime peace. I really don't think that's true. I don't think it's a relationship saver. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't think any of those things are accurate because from what I know about relationships and when you snore, if you try to, if you wake someone up from their sleep, even when they're snoring, they're upset. Even though you technically woke the other person up. All right, Tanner, you're on the fire seat right now. Yep, I knew this was coming. All right. Oh, it's not as big as I thought. Tanner, you're asleep right now. You don't gotta tell me twice, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Tell me how enjoyable this is to be woken up. I can do this in a couple variety of ways, okay? Right, I, want, I want you to give me every variety so I can really- Okay, understand. first off, you're snoring, right? <laughs> 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 it just felt like a small hand was just like coming up my face. <laughs> that was the, like, your wife loves you approach. This is the, the wife slightly annoyed approach. <laughs> That got you? No, it wouldn't have got me. But it almost broke my rib if you would have got me. Okay, so now this is the, the wife super annoyed, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that would have woken me. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna say this isn't a relationship saver, so if you want it, you can get it using the link in the description below, but I'm gonna say <laughs> trash. Uh... It's not even worth getting in the trash can. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is something my daughter would absolutely love. The thing she finds funny is really, really interesting, right? She finds anything that's out of place or doing something that it shouldn't be doing, she'll just crack up. Here's what's up, guys. I'm gonna buy this right now. Add to cart. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear it and see what my daughter says about this. But you gotta follow me on Twitter because that's where I'm gonna post this because it can't be in this video because we film at a completely different time. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get her reaction. Follow me on Twitter and wait for that when it comes out. Elephant hat, very descriptive. <laughs> oh wow, that's some cheap. You hear that? It's the cheapest material you could ever buy. <laughs> Okay, hey, this is supposed to be like an elephant uh, snout or whatever you call it. It's not what it looks like. It you looks like an antelope. You do. You look like an anteater. Is what an anteater. Like. Yeah. This looks like an anteater. That, that kid must be giant because it worked for him. Oh, oh he, he put the ears out. to the side like this. Okay. I look like Queen Amidala. I was wearing <laughs> the exact same. <gasps> Dude, we're too big a Star Wars fan. Literally about to say that. I was like waiting and. <laughs> he just wanted me to make the nerdy reference yeah, like before you, you did. I'm gonna let you know whether it's a cash or trash on my Twitter, all right? I feel like this is just awkward. This is just like, I can't like... Just the way you're maneuvering, <laughs> it's awkward. It, put it to the left, dude. <laughs> Tuck it left. Tuck it left. <laughs> Reactor, arrow bar, body blade. Oh my word, is this gonna be cool? What is that? Is it like a bow and arrow? I think it's a bow exercise tool. Oh. How do you use it? Let's find out how to use it. Oh Works no. To support and stabilize you. No, stop. Susie, look at this. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Susie, look at this. Doing those literally muscles doing slowly. Exercise slowly. Exercise slowly. Susie, nice squat. <laughs> <laughs> nice squat, Good. Susie. Add to cart. After I watched that video, I'm now a trained professional. I'm gonna instruct you okay. to utilize this thing to get the most out of it. So you get that yoked look. Just flap it. What are you doing? There you go. Oh, oh, oh. What are you, uncoordinated? Wait, is this what you're supposed there to do? There you go. Oh, this feels pretty good. Touch it to the ground. Hold it only on the top and make it bend. Yes, now back and forth very quickly. <laughs> okay, no, much more coordinated. There you go. Look at that. Dude, this is, I can feel where this is burning right now. You ready? <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna double exercise this. You grab that. And do what? <laughs> the 
this is getting a workout for both of us. Yep, this is working. I feel the fat melting off like butter. There you go. Shift back and forth, bro. Can you do that? You got the moves. He's a gamer. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the sound it's making is so oh, good. That's tough. Okay, here's the thing about this product though. There's a lot of ways to get those exact muscles working that don't make you look so embarrassing. It's like the shake weight, you know? You yeah. don't have to do whatever that is <laughs> to, to, to get work that out those muscles. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jurassic. Oh, javelin toss. Locker brand, Inc. The original fridge locker. Stop refridge a raiders. Dude, you know I had this problem at the office. Someone ate my lunch. I mean, in that instance, it, it would have been good to to have my lunch locked up. So, you know, so someone at least when they look in the fridge, like, is that a dead animal? Oh no, it's just Matt's lunch. It does look like, <laughs> that looks like you could cage an animal in there. Yeah, right? Just in the fridge. <laughs> that would be uh, very mean. Don't do it. We do not condone that, nor have I ever done it. Chrome metal combination lock. Select your own combination. Walls securely snap together and lock. Secures anything quickly and easily. And is very portable. Could you imagine your roommate walking in and opening up the fridge? being like, I can't get at that. <laughs> if, you, if you think I'd have just one of them, you're wrong. I'd have like, like six of them in my fridge, just locking every single thing in there. He's like, oh. That's what, I'm that's, what I, that's what I'm curious about. I'm curious like, what goes through the roommate's mind that likes to steal food when he sees it caged? <laughs> is, he, is he looking at it going like, that's so stupid. Like, I never take your food. Or is he like, or is he going like, oh, dang it. I can't get at that food. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is a last resort thing. Add to cart. All right. Fridge locker. Perfect for home, office, or dorm. You don't trust those college kids, especially with your, uh, your henna, your henna. <laughs> you gonna say Hennessy? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was gonna say henna tattoos. Custom combination, well ventilated, very portable. Look at this guy. He's oh, that like, is the most, he's in like a bunch of stuff, isn't he? I don't know. Okay, let's build this and take a look at if I can't actually get in it. All right, guys, so we built it. Tanner has built it here, and he's gonna hide some of his, his famous fresh cookies in this device, and we're gonna find out how quick I can get these cookies out. Actually, there's, there's really not that much room in here. <laughs> Almost not. <laughs> For like, if you're trying to save these cookies or something, let's say that's all you cared about, right? Here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and get a cookie. You like the cookie monster. I'm like the cookie monster. <laughs> okay, so first I have to figure out kind of how it works, right? Let's say I just popped it out of the fridge. Let's say it's there. <sighs> Look, I got the cookie box open, right? Oh, so God. now all I have to do is really squish a cookie through, <laughs> through that. You're making the most trash. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, if my roommate did this, I would be more <laughs> concerned about anything. <laughs> He's just eating my food through a cage. If I get the cookie small enough, I can fit most of it through. You see that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, I got half a cookie through. <laughs> Why are you so happy about getting half a cookie through a cage? It's so much better when you earn it. You have to be very wise about what you put in this device because I'm gonna say cash it because it's probably meant to put like things that also can be secured. But obviously these cookies, I gave them a run for their money. Before we get into the next couple of products, make sure you subscribe here by clicking that big old subscribe button down below. If the text is red, that means you're not subscribed and you're not gonna see more of these videos unless you go searching for them. So click subscribe and I'll be in your sub feed forever. Fart whistle. Oh. Oh, Tanner, 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 you're obsessed with the flatulation. I mean, are we all? Here's the, here's the description. Looks awesome. <laughs> Says nothing about its purpose. <laughs> looks awesome. Hey, bro, this may not work, but it looks awesome when you blow it. <laughs> oh my God. What else? The naughty noisemaker. Fart, fart, fart. And she's like, oh. Here's the thing. The, the great thing about like fart machines or whoopee cushions or you know, the usual fart toy is that you can do it remotely or mm -hmm. it gets triggered by someone else, right? Well, you don't want to make yourself look bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is just going to make you look like you farted. I don't see the purpose of it because also you could just do this 
and maybe even more accurate. Do you think, Tanner, that you can make a better fart noise than this? Mm -hmm. So I want a wet fart. No, that was dry. Hold on. That was so dry. Dude, that was as if your your butt cheeks were like sandpaper. <laughs> what does that even mean? A wet fart. You want to know what a wet fart sounds? That Closer. Was perfect. This is a wet fart. Because you can hear some stuff come out. <laughs> you know, you, that's how I know you have a baby because that's exactly <laughs> what babies do all the time. It's always wet farts. Add to cart. Fart whistle. The naughty noisemaker. Okay, so you think you can make better fart noises than this, Tanner? Because I was not satisfied with the noises that you made. That's a kazoo. You bought a kazoo. How's that feel? You ever heard anything fun like that except for a train? I don't know. <laughs> what? Oh no, I dropped my keys. I have to go pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the worst one. Okay, let me let me try just to prove to you guys that I'm not making this up. I'm not blowing too hard, all right? This is how it sounds. I'm gonna go soft. Even sounds like a foghorn. It's, <laughs> it's a fog in the dish. How is that a fart? <laughs> now it's a flute. Ooh, that G chord. What on earth? A Photoshop finger. Why such crappy pictures? This is the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. Inexpensive prop for beginners. Beginners of what? <laughs> beginners of perversion? Of magic. Pale skin tone. Make sure to buy a silk. Silk not included. What does that mean? Actual item will vary slightly from image. Manufacturers guarantee only when purchased from authorized Rockridge Magic reseller. Use it for indetectable produ uh, productions and vanishes of small objects. What did that even mean? It didn't even mean anything. Made of flesh colored plastic. I'm out, I'm out already, I'm out. Made of flesh colored plastic, mm, yeah. <laughs> Add to cart, I'm adding it. Oh my gosh, whose skin tone is that white? You? I knew, I thought you were just gonna go towards me. Whose skin is this white? Tanner, is this yours? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, look, put your finger in that. Oh, oh my word, it is. <laughs> no, it is not, you it's liar. It's close, it's close. Hurting my feelings. Mine's darker. So, so how these actually work is you're supposed to put tissue paper inside of them and you put it on your finger. And then when you remove it, you take the tissue out and that's imaginary. You know how magicians pull the tissue paper out, like, out of their hands? Like, Is this what you're talking about? Yes. Look, it's just my normal hand. <laughs> now I'm gonna pull out a magic trick. <gasps> he did it. It says it's a sixth finger though. Are we talking about doing this and no one's gonna know? It's shorter. <laughs> It's legit shorter <laughs> than all of my fingers. Look, it's not flawless, okay? That maybe. And you're just supposed to be going around your business and be like, <laughs> except this guy keeps doing its own thing. And hey guys, how's it going? Don't worry about my extra finger. Oh, look, you didn't even notice. Wow, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Matthias High Five. You can see that there's something on my hand. Whoa! <gasps> That's a treasure. Um, I missed again. I'm out of it today, guys. Ah! See that thumbnail right there? That is a video that YouTube thinks you specifically will enjoy. Will you? I don't know. You, the only way we're gonna find out is if you click it and we see you over there. Let us know in the comments of that video. High five.